Hello everyone, I am Akash. In today's video, I will discuss another question on real analysis from recent CSRNet June 2024 exam. Question is, if f from r to r be a continuous 1 1 function, then which of these four options are true? Option 1 is f of x is strictly increasing. Option 2 is f of x is strictly decreasing. Option 3 is f of x is either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. And option 4 is f is on to. So let's begin the solution. We will verify one by one each of these four options. So let's start with option 1. f of x is strictly increasing. Is this a true statement? No, not necessary. For example, consider the function f from r to r defined by f of x equals to e to the power minus x for every x belongs to r. Its graph looks something like this. Okay. And from its graph, it is clear that the function f of x equals to e to the power minus x is a continuous function from r to r because graph has no break, no jump, okay, and it is a continuous curve. So it is a continuous function from r to r. Moreover, for every real number, there correspond exactly one point on graph, okay. So distinct real number has distinct images. So from graph, it is clear that the function f of x equals to e to the power minus x is 1 1 that is injective function. In fact, you can easily prove it by definition of 1 1 function. So the function f of x equals to e to the power minus x is a continuous 1 1 function. But from its graph, it is clear that the function is strictly decreasing function. But option 1 says that f of x is strictly increasing. So option 1 is discarded. Okay. So option 1 is not necessarily true. So it is discarded. Now option 2 is f of x is strictly decreasing. Is this a true statement? No, not necessary. For example, consider the function f from r to r defined by f of x equals to e to the power x for every x belongs to r. Then its graph is look something like this, okay. And from its graph, it is clear that the function f of x equals to e to the power x is a continuous 1 1 function. But from its graph, it is also clear that it is strictly increasing function. But option 2 says that f of x is strictly decreasing. So again, this statement is discarded. This option is discarded because it is not necessarily true. Now, consider the same example for option 4. f of x equals to e to the power x. It is a continuous function from r to r. It is a 1 1 function. But clearly, it is not onto function because codomain is r. Okay. But this function does not take any negative values. This function does not take any negative values. So, range of this function not equals to codomain. So, this function is not onto. So, this is discarded because there exists a continuous function, continuous 1 1 function which is not onto. Okay. So, option 4 is discarded. So, we left with only option 3 and this is the answer. We can easily prove it by intermediate value theorem. If you have any problem in proving the statement 3, then please comment on this video. I will make a separate short video on proving this statement. So if you found this video interesting and helpful, then please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.